So this is what they call the bone yard where there is a lot of snake. dead trees. Snake. Yep, there's a snake right there. Welcome to Boom and Biggs TV. Today we are at Hunting Island State Park. We are camping here for the weekend. We just did our check-in at this store right here. We actually arrived last night, but it was too late to check in. So we got up this morning and did the check-in right there. So Biggs is still in the store getting some coffee. So I'm gonna walk over here towards the beach. We didn't get a chance to do this last night either. So we actually got here around 7.30 and we had to set the tent up and start the fire and everything. And then it started raining a little bit. So we had brought some vegan shish kebabs and put them on the grill. And we did get them to warm up enough before it started raining. And I didn't get a video of that, but I can show you some footage from a previous video that we made those before. They're really easy to make and convenient to bring for camping because you just cook them first and then have them ready to throw on the grill. Look how beautiful this is, you guys. So our campsite, I'll show you it in a few minutes, but it's right next to the restroom. It was actually the only spot that they had left available. And we typically wouldn't choose a spot right next to the restroom because we would expect there to be a lot of people to walk by all throughout the night. But it was actually really convenient and I'm happy that we did get that spot and there wasn't really anybody walking by because where we have our tent, it's mostly campers. So it worked out really well. And I actually got up around 4 a.m. to use the bathroom and as soon as I stuck my head out of the tent, I saw eyes looking at me and it was two deer. One was eating, the other was laying down watching the other one eating, so that was fun to see. And then when I came out of the bathroom, there was a raccoon, a big raccoon. So I was like, yes, <laughs> I really love that. So we're walking out onto the beach now. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. It's already warming up, it's only 9 a.m already really warm it's supposed to be in the 80s today oh my gosh I think they have a five mile beach here at the state park so this is what the beach looks like near the campground wow it's so nice it's a lighthouse over there and about a mile that way is where like the nature center and the trails and everything are so we're gonna drive over there in a little bit and check all that stuff out i love just walking on the sand and grounding this is like my favorite thing to do and now we're looking for shark teeth because the tide is out really really far and look at all these shells and we actually found one little shark tooth so far. So we're trying to see if we can find some more shark teeth. Hey, is that one? Mm, I don't think so.
right, I'm gonna walk back to the tent now so you guys can see how close it is to the beach. It's not the closest you can get to the beach. There are primitive tent sites right there, right next to the beach. No water or electricity, which doesn't matter to us because we really don't use it anyways. And you can actually park your car pretty close to the tent sites that are near the beach, but there weren't any available. So we took a site that could hold a tent or an RV camper. So our spot is still pretty close to the beach, a really easy walk. So here's the area with the RV sites where you get electricity and water hookups on every spot. And you can have your camper there. And here's me. <laughs> yeah, there's Biggs. So yeah, you can have a camper or a tent. I think they allow up to two tents and two vehicles. But look into that for yourself because I'm not positive. But the sites are pretty big. We had plenty of space for our tent, our vehicle, and there was a lot of extra space. So we just moved our truck over so that there would be more of a walking path for people to go through to the restroom. So here's the sign for campsites if you want to get an idea of where yours is. Our site is 92 and it's that second spot. So here's the spot right here, 92. So here's the picnic table and fire pit. And then here's our tent. This is the Coleman Weathermaster six person with screen porch. We really love this tent, but it is kind of a pain to put up. So here's what the inside looks like. And we've already slept in here and our stuff is everywhere. So don't mind that. But we actually like using these cots. And we put like a memory foam on top. And I've showed all of this camping equipment in another video, which I'll link below. I'll also link all of these camping products below. We do really like these um, cots. There it is. It's a woods cot and then the memory foam fits perfectly. It's so comfortable. I know that's kind of cheating for camping but we like to be comfortable. And we did have to put the fly on last night because it rained a little bit but it was a really relaxing, nice rain and hopefully we'll take this off tonight because it doesn't look like it's gonna rain at all and I think the weather's not showing any rain so here's our screen porch and our chairs got a little bit wet but we're gonna put them in the Sun to dry out today so it's nice and I like to be able to stand up in the tent so I don't feel like I'm too enclosed and be able to change my clothes and all that so we really like this little setup and there's room right on the spot for your vehicle there's actually quite a bit of space in this spot if you happen to see our Myrtle Beach State Park video you will know that that spot was like four times smaller than this really like it back here it's nice and quiet Lots of palm trees.
And this is the electricity and water. So this will be on every spot unless you get a primitive. And Biggs has his phone charging right there. So there's all these different hookups. And here's the water. And then the restroom is right there. So I'll show you the restroom really quick. So it's just a few stalls. And your sink area. And a couple showers back here. So not too bad. And the floor just reminds you of any other place where there's a beach nearby where a lot of people with wet feet and sand come through so here's what the tent looks like with the fly off it's so much screened space so you can see out everywhere this window actually opens up too but let's go inside again and look at that i'm gonna lay down on the bed so you guys can see this so laying down, you can see out this way and up this way. And when all the windows are open, you can see out of the sides too. So this is how we're gonna sleep tonight because there's no rain in sight. So I'm really excited about that. So here's a little fan that we brought that came in handy last night because it was actually kind of hot. So this is a rechargeable fan. And it's actually really good. There's plenty of air that comes from it. And you just recharge it right here. So, so glad I brought this. And this we bring every time camping too. This is just a little lantern that also recharges and plays music as well. So we love this. And we have our towels and firewood drying out. And there's that shark tooth that I found earlier. I didn't end up finding any more, but we're actually going to this place called the Boneyard that they told us about at the store. So I'm gonna look for more shark teeth there. So here's a map that they gave us when we checked in. And the lady was telling us to start over here near the nature center, which we are going to drive to. And this place called the Boneyard. And then we're gonna do some hiking and she said there's an alligator around this area so we're gonna check that out too and here's the map that i printed out of all the hiking trails that are color coded and we're thinking we definitely want to do this one right here along the saltwater lagoon called the lagoon trail that's 1.4 miles then we'll probably loop it around and come back to where we're going to park at the nature center so that's our current plan but we're going to go now and check it all out so we're just going to drive through the campsite a little bit to take more of a look around at everything here's a little playground area with some more picnic tables and campsites 155 through 200. So you can see some of the other people's setups and it's way more wooded back here in these higher number sites. Looks like a little more privacy back here. Here's spot 162. Oops. Right, like for two days in a row, I couldn't find it. You probably could have got it for Saturday and Sunday. Mm -hmm.
That was site 167. There's also a tent on it. <clears throat> Should people be hanging out clothes like on the clothesline? Yeah, like they look like they're gonna be here a while. This is site 169. Guess what I learned since I've been camping? Yeah. That 90% of tent campers are waiting to the day they get an RV. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at this squirrel, you guys. Look at him, look at him. Aw, he's just over there eating something. Yeah, I would enjoy an RV, but I also do enjoy the tent. Like, there's things about the tent that, like, if it rains or if it's hot or if it's cold. Look okay. at this site. This is the campground host site. That's a big one. That's nice back there. Boom. You saying that from a perspective of someone who's never camped in a camper. That's Once true. Once you camp in a camper one time, you're never going back. <laughs> See... If you have a camper, you could always also put a tent on the site that's like a screen tent. So if you want to go sleep out there with nature, you can, but then you still have your big indoor area. You got all those windows you can open in your camper. Yeah. I'm getting a camper. And we're going to have a tent. So you can be outside, I'll be inside. Okay. No, I... I do want a camper so that you can just travel around, go all over the place. Doesn't matter what the weather is. Yes. But I also like I sleeping it. in a tent too. Look at that site. What number is that? 187. So yes, from what I'm seeing, the higher numbers are a bit more private. But when you're picking your site, just look at the map. And the ones that are further from the beach seem to be more trees, more privacy. And the ones that are closer to the beach, you might find more convenient. Or whether or not you want to be near a restroom. Just look at the map when you're choosing it. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, we took the last spot available and we're happy with it. This is what I'm going to use my tent for. See, look. They just got a pop up to sleep in, and everything else outside. You can open it up. Yep. We like to ride around and look at other people's setup, and even walk around. We just didn't have a chance to last night he before it bath. got. He get a bath. Go dark. ahead, take your time, bro, baby. <laughs> ah, God. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, boom. Why do dogs do that? What? When you give them a bath, they go up right beside a, a human and, and shake. shake it off. I don't know. So funny. All right, we did that loop. We're back to the playground. There are some kids playing there now. Oh, this is the little hang tag you get when you camp. So that lets you into all of the areas of the park. But we actually have an annual pass to all of the South Carolina state parks that's good till July. So we wouldn't really need that pass, but this is what we need for actually being in the camp spot. So we weren't able to get that until this morning. So if you are checking in after 5 p.m. on the day that you arrive, you just go to your spot and then in the morning you go to the store and show them that you're checking in. This is site 106, 108. These are really open you spots. Go to that store. So I don't know why there's open spots when they were showing full on the website. Maybe it was just the two nights that I was trying to book. It didn't have both of them, so that's why there is openings around. I'm not sure. There weren't openings for Friday, but they were openings for Saturday. So we're back at the store. We're getting some more ice. We brought the wrong cooler. We brought like a cooler bag that's leaking. So that's fun. 
This is the park store where you can check in and also buy anything you need that you might have forgot or gifts. So they have some coffee and firewood. And t-shirts. Souvenirs. Lots of little cute stuff. Look at the turtles. I love turtles. Snacks. Some ice. And here is like some toiletries and little things like that that you might have forgot. More t-shirts, a whole refrigerated area, drinks. There's bags. What are you getting? First order for later. We had got these like other kind of fire starter and it didn't work that well last night. See that pot? Look. Oh, four quart pot. And those little pots over there, they got left. Oh. So here's some cooking items in case you forgot them. Oh yeah, citronella candle. Bug spray. No mosquito. Yeah, this is a candle too. No mosquito patio candle. I wonder how much they want. Twenty-two dollars. Like, so if you forget something, you're gonna pay a little bit more in the shop, but. Hey, at least they have what you need, yeah. Five ninety nine for this little one. That one doesn't even really smell like citronella. This is on the table where you're sitting at. Yeah, because you guys, there were a lot of mosquitoes out there last night. Look at these lights. They even have some chairs, marshmallow sticks, tents. So we've already passed the main entrance to Hunting Island State Park, which we're going to check out on the way back. There are trails that go from the campground to all of these areas, but we figured since we're already going to be hiking a lot today, that we wouldn't hike that as well. And this is the nature center right here. Turn to the left. Yep, right across from Fripp Island Security is the nature center. And you don't have to pay admissions if you're camping or if you have the annual pass. So now we just need to find a parking spot. nature center and a lot of times these nature center have reptiles and stuff uh, captive so not a huge fan of these but just for the sake of the video we're gonna go check it out to share it with you guys sometimes they say that the animals in there might be rescued or whatever but Oh, well here's restrooms, and the nature center is closed. Oh, yeah, they're doing some remodeling in there. Say, but hey, at least there's no captive animals in there. The, now, now that one inside the gate, um, when you go to the, the main entrance, mm -hmm. that welcome center leader, they get alligators in the pond. So they got alligators up there in the, in the pond up there. 
Yeah, that's what the lady this was saying. Those alligators for, that lived there in the wild. This has been closed for a long time. Oh, okay. Because so he, he said it's short of staff. He said he haven't seen any rangers down here for a while. Like, so this is just people just come and take a look out. So nice. But everybody's the other one is where it's at right now, the big welcome center. Okay. Yeah, that's where the party's at. Boneyard or Bone whatever, yard. yeah. It's 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 kinda washed away now. It used to be a whole bunch of dead trees over there. Um, but now it's kinda getting less and less. Oh, okay. Yeah. But I mean you just gotta relax here, that's all it is. This, this is just kick yeah, yeah, yeah. back and relax. Yeah, there ain't nothing going on in here, Fred. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Hey, all have a good one. All right. This is the Nature Center Scenic Trail, which was right next to the Nature Center. And got my hiking sneakers on. I really like these. Oh, so here's the bottoms of them. They have good tread, great for hiking, but still low top sneakers. I'll link those below as well. Trip. Here's a map. That's Diamondback Rattlesnake Trail. I'm not going down that rattlesnake trail. Oh. We went down that yesterday. <laughs> it's tough, y'all. It's tough? Yes, sir. He said that's a tough trail. You want to do it? Well. Let's see where it leads to. I think I wanted to do that one on the way back. That's 1.9 miles. So look, down here, I wanted to do this purple trail right here, which is along the water. Okay. So that we could see if there's anything in the water. And then we do have to get back here, so we have to cut over and come back either this middle one or this Diamondback Rattlesnake. So we can come back the Rattlesnake. Oh. He said that's a tough trail. They did it yesterday. Or in the middle one we'll come back. Or we just get to the end of that it's one and walk back miles. the same way. It's almost two miles up and down through terrain. So. It's yeah. going to be tough. And the one along the water is 1.4 miles. So we could also turn around and come back. Either way, it's a lot of walking. We might as well just pace ourselves. Cut! It's a new so No, I started saying that I want to start... Um, having cat food with me. I always run into random cats. Hi, sweetheart. Who's it? Is. Hey. Hey, buddy. Hi, sweetheart. Hi. I meet a cat everywhere I go. I'm not even kidding. Like, even the other day at Kroger, I went out to get in my car and there was like a cat in the bushes. It just makes me think I always need to have some cat food in the car for these random cats that I see everywhere. So you would have to turn all the way back around, go back and get cat food. Yeah. You don't be the cat lady. Well, you know, even if you just do something nice for a cat here or there, you know? Especially the ones that look skinny and they look hungry. So here's the start of the Maritime Forest Trail, which is the one in the middle that you can cut back on. And this trail looks like it's got a better path than that Diamond Rattlesnake Trail. So we might walk back that one this time. And what's the length of this one? Maritime? Two miles. So since you already cut that, you made it to here so far. Yes, now we're almost to there. But this is where she was saying that we need to go over here to the boneyard. So we just keep going down Let's just trail. go, yeah. So it's Saturday. It's a really beautiful day. It's like 80 degrees now. So there is quite a few people starting to come to the park feels so good especially back here in the shade all these palm trees so beautiful 
And a lot of people are coming to just spend the day at the beach. They've got their beach wagons and stuff. So this is the trail that you would take for one of the areas to get to the beach. So this is the lagoon trail that we're going to be taking. But first we're going to go across this bridge right here. This goes to the boneyard area that we were told about. This is where the dolphins come through it. Oh, nice. There's a little dolphins come over here and feed. So this water is really low right here. There might be some crabs down there. Okay, so here's an area that you can walk over to the beach. And a little warning sign. So this is what they call the boneyard where there is a lot of Snake. dead trees. Snake. Yep, there's a snake right there. Snake. Let me get that. Look at that snake. Look at him. I seen a snake first. You spotted I'm him. I'm on a snake. I'm on a snake. That go a snake. He and gone. he went fast. Oh, okay. So we got some snakes over here. I seen them first. I'm not. I'm looking now. I'm looking now. <laughs> wow, look at this. This, this is, is so beautiful. Is. Wow. Wow, this is nice. Girl, look at the snake. All of these trees were rooted, so it must have been a really bad storm. Wow, look at this. Stand right in front of there. I got it. I'm going on right now. I'm going to pick you. Look at this. Everywhere you look is rooted trees. This is a great spot for the drone, but it's in the car. Let's walk down to the water. Take a look. Is that a jellyfish? No jellyfish. Does it need help back up to the water? No jellyfish didn't make it. There's a dolphin out there. Dolphin, right there. They're right out there, I see him. Let's see if I can zoom in. A couple of them right there. They're going to move right there. I see him. I don't know if I'm actually filming them or not, but... Look at this bird. I think it's an osprey. I'm not positive, but... I just took a photo of him, zoomed in, and you can see this huge fish. He's holding a huge fish. To the water to hang out until I scared them and you scared them that camera shot look how many they thousands they took off hey guys this is the lagoon access recreational trail 
we're right Ooh, here and we're walking this way so let's go look at this nothing but nature and trees i love this so much the boneyard beach is over there so nice This is the visitor center and this might be where the alligator lives that they were talking about. I'm going to try to find it. Oh, he's over there. There's one over there. I don't There's know one over there. there. There's a turtle. Where's the turtle at? Over here in the water. Oh, I see, oh, I see him. There's an alligator. There's another turtle right here. So this is the entry to the Maritime Forest Trail from the Visitor Center. Yeah, we're going to have to watch out for snakes through here for sure. So this is that green trail in the middle. We're probably going to take this all the way back to our car. So this is going to be another like 1.6 miles or so. We're definitely walking more than 3 miles, probably 4 miles today. This is So now that we're back at the campground, I am headed back over to the beach area. Biggs is taking a shower and relaxing a little bit at the tent. And I'm going to go to the sand and read a book. I love reading books about plant-based doctors reversing so-called incurable diseases like autoimmune disease so this is dr brooke goldner she's a medical doctor this is the second book so the first book is called goodbye lupus where she talks about her six step protocol of having people eat plants and they are reversing their so-called incurable diseases and their blood tests are coming back good and all their symptoms are going away in just like four to six weeks a lot of the times especially if they're following her protocol exactly so this is the second book goodbye autoimmune where she's adding in the element of emotional support not only is it important to eat healthy foods like raw living plants it is important to take care of the emotional baggage as well which are emotions are energy and if that's not in alignment if there's things that need to be healed the physical body can't heal so the beach looks a lot different than it did earlier the tide has come in a lot do you remember how far out it was earlier so 
so we're just gonna go find a spot back at the campsite now I'm just gonna relax a little bit so we have some vegan chili vegan hot dogs and grilled corn back on the raw food tomorrow now I'm taking an evening stroll up to the trash area so we just have this little bag of trash and they have all the trash cans towards the entrance so that they're not near the campsites there's a lot of raccoons here so and as I said earlier in the video I did actually see a raccoon last night so it was a really big one too so yeah they keep the trash further away from the campsites but they still go near the campsites but that's fine by me because we are out here in their home so we're walking back by the beach area and the store area so yeah this was just a short little weekend camping getaway just to spend time in nature and do something different we like to set up our tent and act like we made a little fort and just you know be carefree and have some fun so we'll be heading back home tomorrow there's the tent sites again those are called the primitive sites Thank you. 